What's up everyone? Nicole is campaigning hard to keep her fellow Million Club Alliance member in the house and Davon may just be turning the same way. So welcome to your live feed update. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can hit the bell icon to get notified every single time a new video is uploaded. And I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone's wishes yesterday for hitting 5k on the channel. It's an amazing feeling and uh, I just really appreciate everyone's uh, kind words and uh, yeah, thank you very, very much. Early in the morning, we saw Christmas talking to the camera, saying that Nicole is trying to do whatever she can to keep Ian in the game, meaning that Ian is her untouchable at the fact she is willing to lose an alliance member, which is Tyler, in order to keep Ian, so she does not trust uh, Nicole whatsoever. She would like to continue working with Nicole if uh, Nicole can get ahead on straight, or what, what she believes to get ahead on straight in order to keep, uh, to keep Tyler in the game. But Christmas also said to the camera that she thinks Cody has to go soon, as he is a great competitor, and he will win comps, and obviously that will screw Christmas's game over. Now, if Nicole gets wind of this she can use this against uh, against Christmas because Christmas is working tightly with Tyler so if Nicole can tell Cody that uh, that, that Christmas wants to, to get him out then Cody could flip and go okay let's get, let's get rid of uh, Christmas's closest ally which is uh, possibly Memphis or Tyler obviously Memphis isn't on the block but Tyler is so it's the perfect opportunity to get him to flip and then they'll have the votes to keep Ian if we flip things to the other side, Christmas and Memphis did have the conversation that Nicole might actually just be putting on a face in order to receive Ian's jury vote should he be heading to the jury house. Because if you are really hardly camp like really hard campaigning for someone uh, when they're going uh, to definitely be evicted that week, it obviously uh, the, the person who is obviously feeling in turmoil and threatened in the house that week, the person they're going to run to and their sort of um, their place of solace is uh, is obviously going to be Nicole because Ian's going to feel like his back's against the wall and Nicole's the only person uh, doing something to save him. And as a result, they do think that Nicole could just be putting on this sort of facade in order to get uh, Ian's jury vote. Um, I do believe that Nicole will happily flip the vote if she has the uh, if she has the vote has the votes behind her. But it definitely works as a tactic to get someone's jury vote. However, I don't think Ian would be swayed that easy when it comes to a jury vote. I think Ian is a he's a well uh, respected Big Brother player and uh, he knows the game very very well. And I don't think he'd vote bitterly. I'd like to think that Ian would uh, look at everyone's game as a whole and go, okay, this person did try and save me, but that's not what Big Brother's about. It's about who played the best game, and I will reward them my jury vote because of that. Danny brought up the notion to Memphis that Ian is not a threat to them and he will go after Dave Vaughn. And also, it's just really really beneficial to get Tyler out whilst he's on the block. They will. They said that uh, Danny persuaded or tried to persuade Memphis that he would regret it, and. Uh, you know, they looked at the pros and cons of both, saying if Ian stayed, Nicole's got him in his back pocket, in her back pocket, so uh, they can control Ian, as well as he's not actually targeting them. And uh, also, if we uh, look at the other side, they said if Tyler stays, uh, that he will help them win competitions. But we know that if Tyler wins a competition, he's going to try and get Danny out. So uh, if Danny doesn't really successfully try and push to get Tyler out this week, she's essentially shot her game in her own foot, and uh, she's pretty much screwed from here on out, or it's going to take a, really something to, uh, to recover from this and actually make it to the end. Danny quizzed Tyler on who he would nominate next week should he win H.O.H. and he swore on everything that he would put Dave Vaughn up on the block. This gives Dave Vaughn, Kevin and David another reason to evict Tyler. You know, it's, if they get wind of that, then they should flip and, uh, and, and and stick around with Ian in the house. And you know what? Even if they had those votes there along with uh, Nicole Franzels and the need, I believe, one more vote, then, uh, then they're going to be fine. Obviously, it'll go to a tie if it's just the four of them and we'll see what Danny actually does. Is Danny going to seize the moment and get rid of Tyler? But because she promised in that conversation to Tyler if it does go down, to a tie she will keep him but obviously this is big brother and promises are made promises are broken lies backstabbing cutthroat it's everything and we just don't know what to expect uh, but it's definitely an interesting week ahead and um, I think it's definitely the most crucial week of campaigning so far because I believe every single week there has been campaigning but uh, nothing to this extent where I do think things could actually flip on its head if people try hard enough and they can plant enough seeds to flip the vote Enzo had a brief moment in the day where he said he was willing to get rid of Tyler instead of Ian. That's definitely Enzo flipping there. And the fact that everyone's been so uh, backwards and forwards about this, or not everyone, but um, a lot of the house are very fluid in uh, which uh, which way they are going to vote, tells me that there could be easily a vote flip. You know, uh, I would believe that Nicole would happily vote out uh, vote out Tyler uh, as long as she's got the votes behind her or she feels like she does. And I think uh, Dave on Kevin and David, they're going to be easy to swear as long as they get wind of the fact Tyler is coming for them next week. There is still a few days until the eviction. There's, you know, there's obviously uh, there's today and tomorrow, and uh, obviously Thursday, Thursday, the day of the eviction is obviously the biggest day in which uh, all the campaigning happens because things can flip literally uh, ten minutes before the vote, and that could totally happen. So if uh, they get wind that Tyler is trying to get them out, they could flip. Enzo could be wanting to jump on board with that as well. Cody may jump with Nicole, and things could be totally flipped on its head. Christmas and Memphis had the conversation that Danny and Nicole, or they feel Danny and Nicole, are trying to get rid of Tyler, who is a committee member, and they don't think a committee member should be going this soon. They said, it's too early for that. Take that how you will. 
Davon and Kevin were having the conversation about why has Tyler not been campaigning. They think he's sitting too comfortable, but then they concluded that they do believe he has the votes to stay, and he thinks that, uh, or both of them think that the votes come from Christmas, Enzo, Cody, Memphis, and actually David. Now, David obviously uh, has a sort of uh, final two deal with Tyler, but I think Tyler would happily cut David in order to take someone else, because uh, we know that's what Tyler's gameplay style is like. Uh, so David obviously hasn't done his research on BB20 and doesn't realise that Tyler plays like that. Uh, so it's not the best move for David to do that. If David really, really wants to make a statement, he should evict Tyler before uh, before Tyler evict him uh, later down the line because that's exactly what happens. I've seen so many tweets this week um, about the fact that if uh, if they let Tyler get away from this week, he will make it to final three. And uh, I do believe he's going to make a massive dent on the game if they don't get rid of him this week. It's a fool. It, you're a total fool, and you're a, it's it's just it's a fatal mistake not to take out Tyler Crispin whilst he's on the block. Towards the end of the day, Davon seemed to have reached some intel about Tyler, and that's just lead her to say that she does believe Tyler should be the one to be evicted now. It's exactly what I said at the beginning of the video. Things are starting to turn, the melting pot is going round and round and round, and things could just flip on its head, because... If, uh, if, if Davon and Kevin, because they're a voting block, they can vote together. They've got Nicole Franzel because she seems to want to keep Ian. She may just betray Ian and decide to go with the other side, but we'll see if she can be on board with that. Enzo obviously has uh, the sort of... Uh, he, he's willing to do it, you know. Um, it just, uh, it's about planting a seed. And also, can they bring David back in? Even if they can't bring David back in, that's four votes. But we'll see if Danny will uh, will break the tie and evict Tyler because she told David earlier in the day, she clarified that David was not the target ever this week and it was always going to be Tyler. So we'll see if Danny sticks true to that and does a Vic Tyler should it come down to a tie or it could just end up being a 5-3 to three vote uh, we'll just have to see how things turn out but Davon did also say to Kevin that uh, moving forward should Tyler be evicted uh, Cody and Danny should be put up on the block uh, if either of them are HOH and then if one of them comes down Nicole Franzel should be put up as a replacement nom Kevin asked David how he is feeling and David said he should take out Ian in order to weaken that side of the house, to weaken that alliance. We know that Ian's only tight ally, to be honest, really is Nicole. And, uh, you know, it's not hugely tight because Nicole is probably still willing to get rid of Ian should she need to. Uh, she obviously doesn't feel great about it, but I think she's probably willing to do it. Obviously, if Ian goes, the uh, the winner target is going to be magnified on Nicole, uh, but, but double because she's the only winner in the house after uh, there was two and then it goes down to one. So that target is magnified. But obviously, uh, Kevin is sort of um, liaising with David, talking about all this thing. And uh, it just sort of seems uh, Kevin is sort of leaning towards one way and David's leaning towards the other way. So it's pretty unpredictable where they could go. But they should realise that both of them are on the bottom of the house together and they need to band together. Uh, but David said, you know, Christmas has been pushing hard to get rid of Ian. But Kevin said, don't trust Christmas because uh, he related to the fact that, you know, when Bailey had a conversation with Christmas, he said that Christmas twisted her words in sort of conversation. And obviously we know where Bailey is now. She's out the house pre-jury. So, uh, you know, who's going to be out the house next if, uh, if Christmas can plant a few seeds and twist a few conversations? We just don't know. So he's encouraged David to be very, very careful for what he says around Christmas. That is all of your game updates for today, folks. I really hope you enjoyed it do you think there is a vote flip in place and do you think ian could end up staying in the house this week let me know in the comments below all of your big brother thoughts and i might just join in on the conversation but thank you everyone for watching i really appreciate the support it is amazing i'm loving doing these videos it's so so much fun and uh it's uh it's really humbling uh that i can you know get all the support off you guys it's uh it's incredible so thank you so so much uh but i will say as i usually do don't forget to like share comment and subscribe but until your next live feed update i've been your host tom vasey good night